Hello Stormwater Designers, welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions Instructional Videos and today we're taking another look at one of the uh, example projects here we have on the swim knowledge base posted by this individual here. This is a trapezoidal channel example one which shows the swim input file below will allow you to compute the normal depth and velocity in a trapezoidal channel carrying 400 CFS with the following characteristics. We got a channel slope of 0.16% a channel roughness of n.025, a bottom width of 20 feet, and side slopes of 2 to 1. The solution using the Manning's equation is as follows, also presented in example 6.2 of, of a textbook that references here. We're all pretty familiar with the Manning's equation. 2 equals 1.486 over n, a hydraulic radius to 2 thirds, and then slope raised to the 1 half. That's how we calculate the flow uh, using the Manning's equation. Then he has a second one here. The swim input file below will allow you to compute the normal depth and velocity in a flood channel that is represented in the example page 825 of the National Engineering Handbook. The channel description and cross-section details are as follows. It has example allowable shear stress design. And what is given is a proposed flood channel has a bottom width of 8 feet, side slopes of 2 to 1, and energy slope of 0.00085. The channel will flow at a normal depth of 4 feet, a velocity of 3.2 feet per second, and a discharge of 200 cubic feet per second. The soils are slightly angular sandy gravels with D75 of 0.75 inches. Mains coefficient for the entire channel is estimated at 0.025. The channel has a curve with a radius of curvature of 40 feet. You can see the diagram of this channel here. The example input file that he has listed here uses a fixed inflow at the upstream end of the channel. Normal depth and velocity in the channel are as follows, depth of 4 feet and velocity of 3.2 feet. So I'm going to download this sample project here, open up EPA Swim. And let's see if I can open up that project. So I just downloaded it. So here it is here. We've got the conduit open channel and then the junction upstream end. And then this conduit here, we can see the details there. We get the 100 foot length, the 0 0.025 roughness, and um, none of the other values are, are filled in at the moment. If we go back here, um, so, that, so that's an example of this sort of conduit in swim. And then we have a circular conduit or circular culvert. The swim input file below will allow you to compute the normal depth and velocity in a 36 inch diameter culvert carrying 20 CFS with the following characteristics. We've got a slope of 0.16% and a roughness of 0 0.015. And the solution using the Mayans equation is as follows as also presented in the textbook. And so we could download that one and we could have that one in EPA Swim. And then we have a storm sewer system example, which I'll download here. The swim input file below will allow you to compute velocities within the storm sewer system represented in section 9651 of the Virginia Department of Transportation Drainage Manual, Chapter 9, and the network is de depicted as, we've got one, two, three, four sections here, a length of 200 feet, 200 feet, 100 feet, and then 150 feet with an outfall here, and then he has a table showing the different conduits, the junctions, where they're connected, uh, their lengths, their diameters, their roughness coefficients. So it's really good because we can build out these uh, sample pipe networks in SWIM instead of having to do hand calculations. Uh, which you know is typically how maybe it would be done. And the example input file uses inflow hydrographs to represent the peak runoff in each conduit. To match results using the Manning's equation, local energy losses at conduit ends are not represented in this model. The peak velocities in the storm sewer design computations, V dot drainage manual, third column from the right are as follows. So for conduit one, two, the velocity was 5.7, uh, two, four, the velocity was eight, 3 2, the velocity is 4 7, and then 4 to 5 is 10.5 feet per second, respectively. And then note EPA swim 5.1012 calculates velocity at 4.8 feet per second. So we can use these here. Let me open that project up. So here's our pipe network here. We can run this scenario, and then we could go to maybe we could graph the time series of these different conduits here, different nodes. And then we could see the flow over time here if we if we graphed it there. So there's some really useful resources on the swim knowledge base to calculate some of these basic calculations such as Manning's channel in different sewer, sewer systems, so circular culverts, and then in this trapezoidal channel here. So this was very interesting. Let me know what you think down below. What's maybe better ways to do this or what way do you use to calculate
uh, Mains equation examples. Do you swim? Do you use your own hand calculations? Let me know. Let me know what else you'd like to cover uh, related to EPA swim, and we'll see you guys in the next video.